Welcome back. In the meantime, Donald Trump has responded to the protest against his emergence as the president-elect of the United States. In his tweets earlier today, by the way, the tweet is back. Trump had this to say, quote, just had a very open and successful presidential election. Now professional protesters incited by the media are protesting. Very unfair. You love the fact that the small groups of protesters last night have passion for our great country. We will all come together and be proud. Uh, so many of them just remember at the tail end of uh, uh, that election, just before the election, this, uh, his Twitter handle was dropped down, yes, but now it's back and he's been busy tweeting and talking as uh, the president-elect uh, on the need for them to come together and rebuild the nation. And at uh, this time we're trying to look at security matters here yes, very quickly and uh, we're not being joined from the United Kingdom by Mukhtar Dania, he's a security and public affairs analyst. Uh, he joins us via Skype to tell us uh, more on uh, what he thinks this would mean uh, to the international community. Dania, good to have you join us uh, quickly. Uh, this is coming in more or less like day four for a lot of people and they still think that this is something that would have thinned out very quickly by now. Well, as soon as we get him online, we'll bring uh, Dania to you. But uh, for those uh, who also missed out on that uh, speech by President Obama, perhaps we should uh, recapitulate on what he highlighted after the election. He maintains that spirit throughout this transition. Uh, and I certainly hope that's how his presidency has a chance to begin. So this was a long and hard fought campaign. A lot of our fellow Americans are exultant today. A lot of Americans are less so. But that's the nature of campaigns. That's the nature of democracy. It is hard and sometimes contentious and noisy. Uh, and it's not always inspiring. But to the young people who got into politics for the first time and may be disappointed by the results. I just want you to know you have to stay encouraged. Don't get cynical. Don't ever think you can't make a difference. As Secretary Clinton said this morning, fighting for what is right is worth it. Sometimes you lose an argument. Sometimes you lose an election. You know, the path that this country has taken uh, has never been a straight line. We zig and zag and sometimes you know, we move in ways that some people think uh, is forward and others think is moving back. Um, and that's okay. President Barack Obama coming out there to speak on the outcome, trying to calm Fred Neves, asking them to understand it all. And of course, uh, we take you back to what we uh, highlighted with Catherine a while ago, and it has to do with the big one there on the website, Help Wanted. 4,000 appointees needed. And there you have it. A presidential appointee is expected. Uh, four basic types of appointments there. And uh, if you go to the uh, website uh, that the president elect has uh, put up, greatagain.gov, uh, you find that, that the presidential appointments uh, with Senate confirmation will be at about 1,212 senior leaders. And presidential appointments without Senate confirmation, well, now we're talking about the personal assistance positions, uh, will be a little less than 400. They also have the non career senior executive service, and, uh, which should be a little over 500, and scheduled C appointment. Uh, uh, just about 1,403, and for so many, they say, uh, well, people have started turning in their, their intentions and uh, making it uh, much more detailed.